as above, so below. Everything they do, also might I add, is based upon astrology, so there has to be, like, the sun and the moon and the stars, if they're going to do anything, like on 9-11, the sun and the moon and the stars, they all have to correl uh, correlate or align in a certain way. He said, uh, he pulled up a piece of paper off his desk, he said, I just got this memo from the Secretary of Defense's office that says we're going to attack and destroy the governments in, in seven countries in five years. We're going to start with Iraq, and then we're going to move to Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and Iran. I said, seven countries in five years. I said, is that a classified memo? He said, yes, sir. I'll put the check marks on them. There aren't too many. Okay? We have Saudi Arabia, which is still good. And we still have Iran, which we haven't gone to war yet. And of course, if Iran gets involved, you know Israel's getting involved. So you got the entire Middle East in a major war. And by that time we were bombing in Afghanistan, I said, are we still going to war with Iraq? It was all just to prepare for some huge demonic invasion? Yes. In time, you will find that our entire history is being shaped by the coming conflict. What did Iraq have to do with what? Beginning to end, this deck reeks of inside the info. The sheer outlandishness of some of the cards desensitizes those outside in the know. But a deeper look reveals that there's not a single card in the deck that hasn't happened, isn't happening, or won't happen. Most of the cards that pick a sinister brand of humor mixed in with knowledge of a deep insider. But we can't rule out the paranormal in this case. Steve Jackson, the game's creator, dabbles in magic. As synchronicities go, the most puzzling involved the terrorist attack on 9-11. Now, statistically speaking, some of these have to be coincidences, but others violate the odds outright. Over and over again, 9-11 appeared in everything from movies to comic books. And what about the FBI's failed attempt in 1993 to bring down Tower 1? Why did none of the artists see that as the future? Why did they universally envision the top of the buildings being damaged rather than the bottom? Did they know the first attack would fail? Was it insider knowledge, or was it something more? Surely the 9-11 inside job plan isn't as old as 1976. The symbols the Illuminati piss on every tree they pass. So how could they conceal the plan for so long? And if they did conceal the plan for so long, why did they even bother bombing Tower 1 in 93 if they knew it would fail and the tower's eventual destruction involved damage to the top? In my opinion, these synchronicities stem from one of two sources. <laughs>
Base 11. Where's Base 10? So as you come up to 10, that is their god. That is 10. That is their hermaphrodite. But if you stop at 9 and you skip to 11, skipping god, then you are Luciferian. 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 Because uh, 11 is the number of the magician. It's the one step above. Once you have accomplished the tree of life, you are now the magician. You are one above 10. But they're doing it by skipping god. That's the symbolism of 9, 11.
World Trade Center 7 was the largest CIA headquarters outside of Langley, Virginia, and housed offices involved in several large-scale federal investigations into massive stock market and accounting fraud. Not surprisingly, World Trade Center 7 was the first to be cleaned up and the evidence destroyed. Luckily, the news anchors knew who did it within minutes. Osama bin Laden. The pundits knew within hours. Osama bin Laden. The administration knew within the day. Terrorists who committed these acts and those who harbored them. And the evidence literally fell into the FBI's lap. That a hijacker's passport was found blocks from the World Trade Center crash site. We can believe that. But for some reason, a bunch of crazy conspiracy theorists demanded an investigation into the greatest attack on American soil in history. That investigation was delayed, underfunded, set up to fail, a conflict of interest, and a cover-up from start to finish. It was based on testimony extracted through torture, the records of which were destroyed. It failed to mention the existence of WTC-7, Able Danger, p tech Sibel Edmonds, OBL and the CIA, and the drills of hijacked aircraft being flown into buildings that were being simulated at the precise same time that those events were actually happening. It was lied to by the Pentagon, the CIA, the Bush administration, and as for Bush and Cheney, well, no one knows what they told it because they testified in secret, off the record, not under oath, and behind closed doors. It didn't bother to look at who funded the attacks because that question is ultimately of little practical significance. Still, the 9-11 Commission did brilliantly answering all of the questions the public had, except most of the victim's family members' questions, and pinned blame on all the people responsible, although no one so much as lost their job, determining the attacks were failure of imagination. Because... The way our government, at least, and I don't think the prior government could envision flying airplanes in the buildings. Except the Pentagon, FEMA, NORAD, and the NRO. The DIA destroyed 2.5 terabytes of data on able danger, but that's okay because it probably wasn't important. The SEC destroyed their records on the investigation into the insider trading before the attacks, but that's okay because destroying the records of the largest investigation in SEC history is just part of routine record keeping. NIST has classified the data that they used for their model of WTC-7's collapse, but that's okay because knowing how they made their model of the collapse would jeopardize public safety. The FBI has argued that all material related to their investigation of 9-11 should be kept secret from the public, but that's okay because the FBI probably has nothing to hide. This man never existed. I'm hearing all kinds of explosions. All the time I'm hearing explosions. Nor is anything he had to say worthy of your attention, and if you say otherwise, you are a paranoid conspiracy theorist and deserve to be shunned by all of humanity. Likewise him, 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 and her, and her, and her, and him. Osama bin Laden lived in a cave fortress in the hills of Afghanistan, but somehow got away. Then he was hiding out in Tora Bora, but somehow got away. Then he lived in Abbottabad for years, taunting the most comprehensive intelligence dragnet employing the most sophisticated technology in the history of the world for a decade, releasing video after video with complete impunity and getting younger and younger as he did so, before finally being found in a daring SEAL team raid which wasn't recorded on video, in which he didn't resist or use his wife as a human shield, and in which these crack special forces operatives panicked and killed this unarmed man, supposedly the best source of intelligence about those dastardly terrorists on the entire planet. Then they dumped his body in the ocean before telling anyone about it. Then a couple dozen of that team's members died in a helicopter crash in Afghanistan. This is the story of 9-11 building collapsing, and indeed it has. Apparently that's only a few hundred yards away from where the World Trade Center towers were. And it seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during uh, this morning's attack. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. As you can see behind me, the uh, Trade Center appears to be still burning. We see these huge clouds of smoke and ash. And we know that behind that, there's an empty piece of what was a very familiar New York skyline. Also, in six and a half seconds, lost forever were thousands of SEC case files on corporate fraud, including those relating to the notorious activities of giants Worldcom and Enron. A few indictments for stock fraud, but what of the $70 billion California electricity swindle? It disappeared.